What's up, my favorite people, my shining stars? I hope you're shining bright, not letting anybody dim that light. My name is Trinity, and welcome to my channel, all about the healing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for my ride and dies. It's been rocking with me from the beginning of my time. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys that's been rocking with me, that's been um, here, that's been um, holding it down, that has been um, watching my reading, sending me positive energy, that's really, really been um, encouraging me, sending me emails and all of that. Really, really, really thank you for that, guys. All right, so for my new subscribers, thank you. I'm honored and welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For those of you that always want to know what's up with the channel, hit the bell, ring the bell if you have not. Um, energy exchange, for those that, those of you that have um, sent donations, thank you. Uh, for those of that want to send, thank you. And those of that are going to send, thank you. Um, always remember that what you sow into this channel, you shall reap a, a 10 times fold. Um, so be it, this is good ground. So be it, it is so and ashe. All right, so I just want to say a lot of um, readers have been, um, uh, it's a lot of scammers out there. And a lot of readers have, um, put out it has not happened to me yet that I know of but I am not doing personal readings I have not been doing any personal readings and I will not reach out to you about personal readings not doing it not right now all right so did anybody reach out to you saying they're all about the healing and they are trinity they are lying I'm not doing personal readings okay all right don't get scammed all right that's all I'm gonna leave it there because we got to roll with it. We are honoring the sign of cancer. Bam! That is cancer. Cancer, come out your shell. Come out your shell. Um, the divine wants you to show the world who you truly are. Stand up, be true, be brave, move forward um, with your life, with your ambitions, with your goals, with your dreams. You are good enough. You can do it. All you got to do is believe that you can. There it is. Bam. All right. Here we go. All right. So what we doing today? We're doing futuristic events happening to you or your person very soon in love all right now these events could be happening with you and your person together or this could be happening for your person or this could be happening to you this is just you knowing what's going on with your person whether it's with you or without you okay so we're going to even break it down even further. We're going to go past, present, and futuristic, okay? And if your person want to have something to say to you and I pick it up, I'm going to tell you. All right. So let me put you on a brief hold because I am cold and I need to get me a jacket. Hold on. All right. I'm back. All right. Okay. So that's what we got going on. So the, for the past, we're going to work with the past right now for the past energy between you and your person or some past energy, period, concerning the connection or just period past energy for you or your person. But somewhere in the past, mirror, okay? You guys were mirroring each other, reflecting off, projecting off of each other, mirroring each other, self-image, uh, some type of self-image, um, wounding someone, didn't believe in their self, someone um, had bad self-image, had a, best, a bad or a negative view of themselves is basically what this is saying. One person or both person, bo both people in the connection had a bad, a negative self-image of themselves. Um, and this... Um, reflected in a relationship old wounds old past wounds um projected 
mirror the old wounds from the wounds from old relationships mirrored a reflection back to each other projected off to each other in this relationship um introspection introspection means that what i'm seeing from this what i'm actually the energy that i'm seeing off of this is that it was two people in the connection um it could very well be that one person didn't speak up they felt like uh maybe um one person could have had self-image uh, negative self image of themselves, but they thought the other person looked better than them, or they thought the other person, um, was more beautiful than them. They put this person on a pedestal and, and then later on resented that person, um, because they put that person on a pedestal. They later on resented this person. And that's what caused conflict because the, the negative, it started with the ne negative image of themselves instead of them correcting the issue within them they projected that negativity off on the other person and they start to get jealous and envious of the other person based off of self-image what they thought this person looked like or what they thought that other people viewed this person as to look like that this person they view they um projected off that other people thought that this person was more was more beautiful than they were and it caused a, a negative uh, mindset, jealousy, envy, and that damaged the relationship because it started to have a lot of introspective and reflect projection, negativity in the connection. All right. Based off self-image, a negative self-image in that it, this it, one person felt bad about themselves doesn't mean that the other person felt that way about them. The other person could love them just the way they are, love them, wanted to be with them, whatever. But because of it started with a negative mindset about your own self image, it later on grew to jealousy and envy because you didn't correct it. And then the present moment is guilt. You got one person guilty, drinking their sorrows away, hurt, in pain, guilty. And then you got one person moving on with their life, thinking positive, you know, trying to go, trying to live their life day to day, do the best they can to be a better version of themselves or try to do better, be better, think better. Two different perspectives. At the present moment, somebody is riddled with guilt, with guilt of what happened in the past in this relationship. Because now they see that how they viewed this person wasn't how this person viewed them. That this person tried to love them, tried to be what they were supposed to be, but they sabotage this relationship by a negative self image because they didn't view themselves as, uh, as beautiful. They didn't think that they were good enough. That's your issue. Not the other person. How you view yourself is how you view yourself. The other person is not responsible for that. When you find yourself in this type of predicament, you have to fix it. You can't, you can't rely on the other person to fix it. They got their own issues and own things that they have to deal with. And you got yours. So at the present moment, somebody is moving on. But then look at this here. I didn't, look at this. It's a chain here. This person is chained. It's chained. So at the present, does someone feel bound? They're trying to move on. And one person is guilty and feeling like they can't move on. They, uh, somebody's feeling bound and the other person in the background is feeling um, guilty for some things that they did to this person. 
but the chain is is that's that's messing me up. Hmm. Okay. What I'm getting out of this is this person in the past, at the present, at the present time, this person who is, is it, this person here moved on. They got out of these chains and they moved on from this person. And this person is guilty because they now realize all the projecting, all the negativity that they, they find it looking at themselves and seeing the sap, the, 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 all the sabotaging that they was doing to this person. And this person finally moved on at the present moment. This person has moved on. They have removed this chain that this person is no longer chained to this person period. And this person is now, um, feeling the effect of this person missing out of them, out of their lives. Like I know, I don't know who is who cancer. I don't know who is who. You fit it in. Okay. That's at the present. Somebody is feeling guilty. Really, really guilty. Drinking their sorrows. Drinking. Somebody's drugging. Somebody is sexting. Somebody is trying to fill a void of this person missing out of their life. And they know that they sabotaged the relationship. It's something that they did with this relationship that made this person um, take, make this person break the chain and remove themselves from out of this relationship. All right. Futuristic. <laughs> wow. Okay. So futuristic after all of that, now I see this, it's like, okay, so somebody has a secret admirer. Somebody likes somebody. Somebody wants somebody. Somebody wants to step to somebody. Somebody wants to communicate to somebody. Somebody wants to uh, lay it all on the line. And it's all in secret. They're holding it to their chest that they like somebody, that they want to be with them. A secret admirer. Oh, wow. Do it, Cancer. All right. Somebody wants to have good luck. They want good luck on their side. They want luck on their side. They want this. They don't know how this person is going to react. They don't know how this person is going to, um, ex if this person is going to accept them or not. All they know is that they want um, this person. They secretly admire this person. They put this person on a pedestal. This person is, is handsome. This person is beautiful. This person has everything that this person wants in a person and desires in a person. This could be you, Cancer. And you, and this person wants to have luck on their side. Okay. Happiness. This person makes you happy. This may be you, Cancer. This this seems like new love. New love. Um, I've been getting new love out of these readings. So new love. Um, happiness. Or this could be somebody you know from the past that you secretly still love, but um, you haven't told that person. You know, and you just want you you just praying that this person um accepts you you know and you, this person makes you happy and you want to make this person happy all right so what we get down here we got a woman feminine energy it could be a male okay dealings with a woman okay um or relationship with a woman Okay, so what we got here, secret admirer. Somebody is secretly admiring a woman. Okay, or want to be in a relationship with a woman. Okay, futuristic. Futuristic event is somebody want, is secretly admiring a woman, putting a woman on a pedestal, want to be in a relationship with a woman. Now, a woman could be a feminine energy or masculine energy. Okay, male or female, a woman. Okay, um, this woman or this, this energy, this feminine energy makes someone happy and they want to, they want to be with this person. So this person, this woman could be you cancer, or this could be a, the cross watcher. Okay. 
a cancer secretly is in love or wants to be with you or a cross watcher is wanting to be with a cancer okay and secretly put this woman on a pedestal want to be with this woman or want to deal with this woman on a romantic um level all right so it's a warning here though warning you of a problem either now and in the near future so it's some type of problem or some type of issue so that's probably why this is secret because um it's a problem here with this with this woman it's a problem here um warning it's a problem but this secret admirer person already know the problem already know the issue that's why it's a secret this person hadn't came and told this person and, and it's holding this to their chest and not saying what they what they really want with this person because they already know um they already know that it's a problem okay so futuristically hmm Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Mule. So, it could very well be one person is secretly wanting to, secretly in love with someone, want to be with this woman. Feminine energy, male or female, wants to be with this woman. But maybe this woman is married. Maybe this woman is already in a relationship. Maybe this woman is some kind of obstacle, some type of obstacle, some type of problem, some type of issue, but somebody wants luck to turn and really horseshoe. Um, this right here makes me feel like the will of fortune. Somebody wants the will to turn in their favor and they at least get a chance to talk to this woman, at least get a chance to um, tell this woman how they feel. Um, they just want luck to be on their side of opportunity. They want an opportunity to express to this woman how they feel. Um, because this woman, some kind of obstacle, um, someone extremely stubborn. So this could be used cancer, the stubborn or the, or the cross watch or somebody in this, in this dynamic between these two people, um, is stubborn or, this may have something to do with one individual. The, one of the people in this dynamic has a secret admirer that's getting ready to come to them. Um, yeah, one of these people, it's, it's in this one. One of these two people got a secret admirer that's getting ready to come in. Or one of these people is the secret admirer. It's either or. Somebody getting ready to have somebody come in, but somebody's going to be resistant. Okay? So futuristic is an opportunity for a relationship. If you want a relationship, this is your warning. If you want this to happen and you want this person, you just, this is your warning. This is an opportunity is coming up that you can talk to this person. If you want this person, then don't be stubborn. Allow it to happen. Open up. Have a conversation. Say what you got to say. Move. You know, maybe maybe these two people can be together. If you don't want it, don't allow it. Just keep pushing. Keep moving. Okay, it's, this is just an opportunity that wants to come in. That spirit is letting you know that's coming, that, that's coming in the future. Okay, somebody wants to transform or someone has transformed. Someone's suffering in silence. Um, here's a key. Cupid. Arrow has uh, has uh, Cupid. Arrow has strike. 
The rainbow is a promise from the divine. So if you've been praying to the divine, the divine said it's done. Here's the mermaid. The mermaid, this is something different. Some This relationship, something, some, something about this relationship, something about this dynamic is different. It's unique with that mermaid. Okay. Somebody wants you to trust them again. They want to gain your trust. This person dreams and fantasizes about you all the time. They think about you all the time. <laughs> Look at here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> the four-leaf clover. Four-leaf clover. And then you got good luck. So some kind of luck may be coming in. All right. You got the fish. It's a fish. That's wealth. Fish is wealth in abundance. Spirituality, the tree of life. Somebody is walking into their spirituality. Okay, you got lips here. Red lips. Somebody wants somebody thinks somebody's lips is very sexy and look and luxurious. They want to kiss them. Somebody wants to kiss someone. Okay. We got the witchy, witchy vibes. All right, so that could be um, anything, okay? doesn't have to just be black magic, but it can be. You got white magic as well. All right, you got two tree of lives. So spirituality is very significant here, all right? We got the pineapple. Somebody think that someone is sweet, so sweet. Something did end. Here's the skull. Something did end in this in this um, dynamic. Something ended. Um, I think this is a, a giraffe. So that's Africa. Somebody could be from another country. Okay. We have a uh, this look like feathers, angel feathers. Um, is very significant. Your angels, your angelic realm is trying to talk to you. The elephant spirit is here. Somebody is very gentle. Um, this could be someone that's tall, but very, very gentle. Somebody that's um, big boned or somebody that's husky. Um, we have permanence here. Somebody want to be permanent. Want somebody want to build something stable with you. You got all kind of stars. He stars here. You could uh, be part of a star C family here. Roses. Somebody want to shower somebody with roses. Somebody is very loyal and committed to someone. Okay. We got fearless. Somebody is really brave. We got Q. We got E. We got F. We got G, we got H, we got M, we got Y, we got F, we got R, okay? All right, your advice, intuition, intuition, trust your intuition. So, cancer or cross watcher, whoever this is, I'm talking to whoever this is that's on that clicked on here. Spirit is wanting you to use your intuition and trust your intuition. Trust that what you getting in, trust that it is right. Leading and guiding your path. Trust. Because really in this whole dynamic, what this whoever this is. They already know the answer. They already know if the secret admirer is really going to give, open up to them or not. This person already got the answer to their question, but spirit is wanting them to adhere to that. You already know. So if you know that this person doesn't, is not interested, stop pursuing this person. But if your intuition telling you to continue to pursue this person, if this person is really um, going to be open to receive, really want to give you a shot, really want to be with you, then Spirit is saying, trust it. Go after it. Believe in it. Make it happen. Believe in yourself. Go after it. Use Trust your intuition. 
and what spirit is trying to tell you. That's what I got for you, Cancer. Okay, so if you guys, if I gave you some type of clarity, you got some type of answer, you know, hit the comments, leave me a heart, any color heart, leave a heart, let me know how I did. Um, thumbs up if you like, thumbs up, thumbs down if you didn't, it helps the channel. Share, 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 subscribe, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, okay? I'm going to get back to it, y'all, one day, but I'm so busy. <laughs> All right, so, but when I do get back on it, you, you, if you go ahead and get to the description box and go ahead and um, subscribe to those chat to uh, my social media, you'll be right on point, okay? Um, I want to tell you that your life matters. I want to tell you that black lives matter, and I want to tell you that all life matters, okay? And I'm sending you love, and I'm sending healing your way, and Trinity is... 